You know Renee Moses. Yeah, that false rapture date setter. She, along with all the other false rapture date setters, are not only seeking to destroy your faith in Yahushua, Jesus Christ, but they are seeking to take your life. She is not only working together with Satan himself to cast demons of despair and depression and hopelessness and suicide and apostasy to deliver the final blow to people's faith when Yahushua does not come on the dates that they set. But they are preparing to take your very life. It is called the Blue Beam Rapture. Beware the Blue Beam Rapture, which is a false rapture devised by Satan to go before Yahushua, who is also called Jesus Christ, and counterfeit his second coming. Prophet Elizabeth Elijah has received a warning from Yahweh God for September this year. And we do not know if Yahweh will allow this to happen so soon. But, if the enemies will have their way, it will start this September. Therefore, be warned, and warn others also while you still have the time to do so. Because when you hear the false rapture date setters, like Renee Moses, cry out their predictions for the rapture, this date, that date, and specifically their predictions for this September, now you know the truth. Now you know why. Because they are preparing you for an illusion. If Yahweh were to allow this to happen this September, and you see the illusion appear in the sky, and people think that Jesus is coming for them, don't believe it. Don't go. Because it is Satan in disguise, with his fallen angels and his demons. representing a mighty with ministry for the glory of Abba Yahweh, Yahushua, and Imaya, the precious Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit. Now what I have seen circulating on YouTube, I cannot tolerate anymore. I have fake and phony Christians trying to comment on my video against false rapture date said Renee Moses, claiming that my mom, Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, who has been horrendously attacked by Renee Moses for a long time, and the Legion cult members of Renee Moses, that my mom, Elizabeth Elijah, would be in fact part of Renee Moses, if not the leader of Renee Moses. And they claim that my mom is a Satanist. Because there is some video circulating on YouTube made by Christina H., who is part of Renee Moses satanic coven who has found quote-unquote evidence that my mom has an account on their satanic website and that makes her part of them and people shouldn't be deceived and that people try to comment now on my video trying to drag my mom Elizabeth Elijah's name through the dirt trying to chase people away from this ministry as if my mom Elizabeth is a satanist What you have done, <laughs> I can't even express the righteous indignation I, as a mere human being, feel about this. But it's also combined with God's, with Yah's, righteous indignation. Before I continue about this, I myself have made three videos last year exposing Renee Moses the activities that they were doing specifically against Prophet Elizabeth Elijah and this ministry. And we have exposed without a sh that without a shadow of a doubt, Renee Moses is a Satanist. Without a shadow of a doubt. We have exposed that without a shadow of a doubt, she's crushing people's faith by continually setting them up for a rapture that does not come. Building them up, breaking them down till they have no faith left. 
We have shown how Rene Moses teaches people how to blaspheme the Holy Spirit and then tells them, oh, it doesn't matter, you can just come back to God. We have shown you how Rene Moses is teaching people you can renounce Jesus and then just come back again to Jesus, just like herself. And continue to falsely prophesy and God does not mind. What? You don't believe it? Let me refresh your mind. Please let's take a look again at one of her posts on the Five Doves website after one of her failed rapture predictions in 2012. In this sick and diabolical post, Renee states how she publicly renounced her faith in Jesus Christ, denied him, turned completely away from him, hates him, and said unspeakable things against him. Later on in that post, she states that the Lord told her she had done nothing wrong because it's all part of the purification process. Now, wait a minute. Doesn't this sound familiar? What did it say on that satanic website where Renee Moses has a member's profile and is identified as one in a leadership position? It says, deny the Holy Spirit as part of their so-called cleansing. It perfectly lines up. By posting what she did on Five Doves, Renee is conveying the message to Christians that it's okay to renounce Jesus, that it's not a sin, it's in fact a purification process, when the truth is, if they emulate Renee's blasphemies, they're damning their souls and opening themselves up to a legion of demons. So these are the activities of Renee Moses. Now in order for Prophet Elizabeth Elijah to be part of them, and of their activities, it would mean that she would have to be carrying out the exact same activities in one way or the other on YouTube or in other places on the internet. But hey, if you didn't know it yet, Prophet Elizabeth Elijah and what she does doesn't line up in any way, shape or form with what R Renee Moses and her Legion members are doing. Just answer these questions. Is my mom Elizabeth Elijah predicting false rapture dates? Well, the answer is no, unless you twist like the lukewarm Christians and the Satanists are doing what this ministry does and preaches. That's all you can do just like your father the devil. But my mom Elizabeth Elijah does not do that. She certainly does not teach people to renounce Jesus and then you can just come back. She preaches the opposite. Just like the Bible teaches, you can't come back if you renounce Jesus. And you cannot blaspheme the Holy Spirit and then just come back to Jesus again. You cannot just falsely prophesy and keep on doing it without any repentance. Building people up, building up their hopes, and then crushing them. To the point they have no faith left and are seven times worse off with a legion of demons. These are the activities of Rene Moses, but these are not the activities of my mom. Any Satanist part of Rene Moses' coven can make up any account on that satanic, filthy website in anyone's name and then claim that person is a satanist. You know, they are sore losers because they have been exposed already from all angles and the best thing that they can come up with after one year is this, to claim that Prophet Elizabeth Elijah would be a satanist. Christina H. The first time I saw your picture and you tried to comment under my video, I knew. I knew it and I saw it and I had the discernment that you are part of Rene Moses and that you are full with the legion of demons yourself. First making a video against Rene Moses and then you turn around and you make a video against my mom. Trying to gain the trust of the people and then you mix my mom into the group like that. You are a filthy spawn of Satan. Ugh. I'm just disgusted. I'm disgusted by your face. I just knew it when I saw you. I'm not going to approve this comment. Because God gave me the discernment. You were one of them. And I rebuke you, you spawn of Satan. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray that Yahweh renders immediate vengeance and judgment upon you, even this very day. I pray that you're going down. <laughs> And the fake Christians that dare to jump on the bandwagon of these filthy, stinking Satanists. How dare you believe these lies? How dare you come to my video and try to propagate those lies against Elizabeth Elijah? Well, not on my video and not on this date. If it's not too late for you yet, you had better come back and I'll be waiting and you redeem the damage you have done. 
You had better leave a comment on my video with an apology, saying you repent. You apologize to my mom, Elizabeth Elijah, saying she is not a Satanist. And you warn the people you had lied against them. You had lied to them about the Mighty Wind Ministry, which is Yahweh God's own ministry. You have lied against God. And if you do not repent, <laughs> the righteous indignation that I feel burning within my bones is Yah's righteous indignation. Because if you do not repent, I wouldn't be surprised if God strikes you down this very day. This is your last chance. How dare you? How dare you accuse Apostle Elizabeth Elijah of being a Satanist? <laughs> You're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You're damning your soul. You have better repent now while there is still a chance, while there is still time, because if you don't, <laughs> you are going down. Yahweh is going to render his vengeance, his judgment upon you. You are fit for damnation. You're wearing the curse of the damned if you don't repent. You're going straight to hell on the lake of fire for what you've done. Daring to chase people away from a mighty wit ministry, from the prophecies that lead people only to holiness, to Yahushua HaMashiach, to the keeping of the Ten Commandments, righteousness, the standard of holiness and truth lifted up, continually for which Elizabeth Elijah pays a price. And what price do you pay? Except to come on YouTube and to write a cheap comment to drag my mom's name through the dirt. For the heck of it, huh? Isn't it fun to do that? <laughs> it's not fun to God. There's a price to pay and you will pay with your soul. I urge you, come back to my video and you better apologize. Make a video yourself, whatever you have to do to redeem the damage. And you tell people Elizabeth Elijah has been wronged. She is not a Satanist. She belongs to Yahweh God. I demand that. I demand an apology because if you don't make it right and you dare to scoff, mock, and laugh, know this God, Yahweh, will have the last laugh. And you won't be laughing anymore for eternity. And you, Legion members, spawn of Satan. <laughs> How can any be, anybody be so stupid to believe you? How will anybody stand in the Great Tribulation with the powers that be in this stinking world full of the Antichrist spirit already and it is only going to get worse when the powers that be on this world are going to make up much worse propaganda against the anointed ones if you're already falling for these lies that are easily exposed that anyone with half a brain can understand these are Satanists that were pulling off old tricks that can easily be exposed. How will you stand in the Great Tribulation? <laughs> How are you going to stand if you even fall for these tricks right now and you don't care enough about your own soul or, or about other souls to even study, to even study and watch our videos? Show yourself approved before you attack a true prophet. The Bible says clearly, touch not my anointed, neither do my prophets any harm. What part of that did you understand? What part of that don't you understand that Yahushua says even the very elect shall be deceived in these last days? Why is your guard down? Why don't you care? Why are you falling so easily for the evil ones? Why are you sleeping? Is it maybe because you're filthy in sin? Is it maybe because you are too busy sinning, whatever you might be doing? You don't even care, alright? You are in such big trouble with God. And I urge you to, to repent and to study our prophecies. People, my answer to these lies from the pit of hell, from Renee Moses and her Legion members. All the anointed videos that were made by my brothers and sisters in the Mighty Wind Ministry, the videos speak for themselves. The anointing on their faces speaks for themselves. These videos were all done to expose the lies of Rene Moses and to warn the people of what those Satanists are doing. Because they care about you, they made those videos for you. So you don't have to be deceived. We don't make these videos for our entertainment. Okay? The, the truth is out there. You have no excuse. Watch those videos and see that Rene Moses, without a shadow of a doubt, is a Satanist. And my mom, Elizabeth Elijah, is without a shadow of a doubt, a holy prophet of Yah.
That's why she is being targeted by the Satanists. That's all there is to it. I just wanted to make this video and set this straight. Christina H. in Yahushua Hamashiach's name, I rebuke you, spawn of Satan. You are going down. Please visit AmightyWind.com and AlmightyWind.com and study the prophetic words that were given by God to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah.